Right, the next experiment is the uh, river bed load sampling. The idea behind this is we're going to look at the size of the stones and try and work out whether they get bigger and more angular the further across the uh, across profile. So what you do is you take, basically you take the 10 stones at random and you take them work the way across the channel. So we're going to start off where my feet are, just pick up one stone, I'll place it on the bank. Now ideally you'll have the idea is when you return the back, you go back exactly where it is. So if I had somebody else here, I would just keep them there and we'd just pass it to each other, do the recording, put it back. But, but since there's only me, I'll take a stone, I'll go a bit further in at random. Bring another stone out and so on and then I'll repeat the process right the way along. I'll then have my different stones lined up. Okay, so I've got my stones, I've put them in order across the bank, it'd be better if you took uh, 10 there. And then the next thing you're meant to do is you're meant to measure using um, a caliper to help work out the, the longest diameter. So you, if you didn't have a caliper you could actually put the steel uh, ruler or us, and you could actually measure it that way. So I've got my caliper here, so I'm going to measure it to work out the longest length between the two points. So for example, this stone here is uh, 58.9 millimeters. Right, and make sure you always keep the same sort of calculation there. So you work along there. And then, once you've worked out that, the next thing is you put it against the, what they call the Kalo index, and it shows the, how rounded the stones are. Now, the idea behind this is that the nearer the, the source, the more angular they are, and then the further down you go from the river, the nearer to the sea, the more rounded the stones get with that. And that's the sort of like the, the idea behind this. And so he's got a scale from very angular through to very well rounded. And so you put your stone along the patterns and you try and match them up. In this case, this looks like a rounded stone, so therefore we've right uh, record down number five, class five there, and we've already recorded the, the angle. Then you would repeat the process over and over with the ten different stones there.